The reason why Chicago is so dangerous is because there are dozens of different wars being fought on each side of the city. There are some gangs that are at war with 10 different oppositions. The subjects of today's video are involved in some of the bloodiest and most publicized wars in Chicago that shape the drill scene as we see it today. The subjects of today's video are none other than MOB and today we're going to be telling their story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. MOB is a set of mainly gangster disciples from around the area of 56 in Michigan in Chicago. Their exact turf is large, ranging from 56th to 60th in state to Michigan. MOB is allied with STL, EBT, 051 Young Money, and Jarl City. They primarily beef with Front Street, Nico Gang, O Block, THF46, Black Gate, Shields, and 600. With all of this conflict going on, the bullets would soon start flying. On September 2nd, 2007, a group of MOB members were driving in a car southbound on the 5600 block of Wabish when they noticed that they were being followed by a red Impala driven by a person nicknamed Cabbage. They tried to get away from him by running a red light, but Cabbage allegedly chased them down and shot up their car. While trying to escape and resist the gunfire, the MOB member's car collided with another vehicle, bringing them to a stop. An MOB member named Junebug, real name Xavier Washington, was one of the people in the car and he was shot four times in the back during this incident. Junebug was transported to Stroger Hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 14 years old. Cabbage, real name Julian Myers, was arrested and charged with this murder. I cannot find information on whether or not he was convicted or beat the case. MLB members would mourn the death of Junebug while their ops would celebrate and diss him constantly for years on end. Soon, MLB would find themselves wrapped up in one of the deadliest feuds in Chicago. On July 27, 2011, a 600 member named Baldy, real name Marcus London, was with another man on the 6,000 block of South Prairie Avenue at about 12.55 a.m. when they were ambushed by gunmen. Baldy was shot in the head and the other man was shot in the ankle. Baldy was transported to Mount Sinai Hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 19 years old. 600 took on the moniker Baldy World in his honor. Members of MOB were allegedly responsible for this murder. Baldi's death would take the already existent feud between MOB and 600 to another level and lead to them killing each other back and forth. Members of MOB posted a vlog of themselves on YouTube in which they bragged about killing Baldi and snitched on themselves. They sent his ass to Baldi real. When we hit Baldi in his head, shit was spinning. Gee. This shit was spinning. Dead looking like Baldi when we rolled up. No one has ever been charged with this murder. Losing Baldy made 600 hungry to catch an MOB member. One of MOB's most notorious members was a guy named Scrap. Scrap had a reputation in the streets for being a shooter and never backing down from anyone. As the beef was escalating, Scrap's family moved into a house right in 600's hood. An original 600 member named Tay Capone did a story time on YouTube in which he explained the crazy events that took place around this time. He explained that Scrap's father would go on the block and beg 600 members not to kill his son, but all of that went out the window after Baldy was killed. The death of Baldy made 600 desperate to kill Scrap, but they could never catch him coming in or out of his house. Eventually, a 600 member named Little Steve got frustrated and decided to shoot Scrap's house up. No one was killed in this incident, but it made MLB target Little Steve. On September 19, 2011, Little Steve, real name Stephen McGee, was with multiple people walking down the 6th block of South Prairie Avenue when multiple MLB members popped out of an alley and began shooting at them. Little Steve was fatally shot in the neck and was pronounced dead at just 15 years old. It is believed that Scrap was allegedly the one that fired the shots that killed Little Steve. 
Scrap was arrested and charged with this murder. He did some time in jail while awaiting trial, but he eventually beat the case and was let back out to the streets. After winning trial, Scrap would go on to brag about killing little Steve and MOB would be linked to more murders. On October 18th, 2011, multiple O Block members were hanging out on their block when two men wearing dark colored clothing approached them. The two men opened fire on an O Block member by the name of Patoon, real name Edward Riley. Patoon was shot multiple times in the head, wrist, and chest. After shooting Patoon, the men turned their attention to another O Block member named Ugi, who was only 15 years old at the time. Ugi was shot in the jaw, ear, and hand, but he luckily survived his injuries. Patoon was taken to Stroger Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at just 20 years old. Years later, Police documents would be released that identified an EBT member named Little B as one of the two shooters in this incident. It is widely rumored that an MOB member named Beans was allegedly the second shooter in this incident. Patoon's cousin confirmed in a Facebook post that one of Patoon's killers was dead and the other one was in prison for a different murder. Little B was killed by the police in 2014 and Beans is currently locked up for murder. As you can tell from the Little Steve situation, Scrap was wilding in the streets and had a big target on his back. He was the younger brother of a rapper named Ruga, and Ruga said in an interview that Scrap had been shot on two prior occasions the same week he died. Scrap was still recovering from being shot the second time, but he still wanted to leave the house. Ruga stated in the interview that the day of Scrap's death, he warned Scrap that jail or death was the only outcome for the way he was moving. Scrap responded and told Ruga that he saw his own death coming and that he knew he was gonna die soon. He died later that same day. On June 7, 2014, Scrap, real name Brian Weekly, was walking the 5600 block of South Wabish when gunman pulled up and opened fire. Scrap was shot multiple times and pronounced dead on the scene at just 18 years old. MOB took on the moniker Scrap Gang in his honor. Fans online speculate that either members of 600 or members of Shields killed Scrap. However, no one has been charged for it. Regardless, losing Scrap made MOB even more bloodthirsty in the streets. On April 3rd, 2015, one of 600's top alleged shooters named Little Boo, real name Jerome Anderson, was walking on King Drive when a gold-colored vehicle pulled up. A gunman hopped out of the car and shot him, then stood over him and continued to shoot him multiple times. Little Boo was taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at just 22 years old. It is widely believed that members of MOB and 051 were allegedly responsible for his death. On July 21st, 2015, a 600 member named Stello was driving a 2012 gray Dodge Charger southbound on State Street when a group of unknown offenders started shooting at him from the sidewalk. Then, a red vehicle pulled up and someone exited the red vehicle then started shooting at Stello as well. Stella was riding in the car with another person and that person shot back at the offenders. In the commotion, Stella was shot in the head. Responding officers pronounced him dead on the scene after discovering him in the driver's seat. Stello, real name Cass Singleton, was just 26 years old. It is believed that MOB was responsible for this murder. An MOB member named E-Boy, real name Eric Banks, is listed as the primary offender on the official murder report for Stello's death. A 600 member named 600 Breezy recently stated in an interview with No Jumper that the ops were false claiming Stello's death and that the person that shot back at Stello's attackers killed Stello by mistake. About a year later, MLB would take a big loss of their own. On June 13, 2016, a known shooter from MOB named Bebe, real name Jordan Liggins, was sitting in a car in the 6500 block of South Ross Avenue when a gunman shot him multiple times in the head. Bebe was pronounced dead at the scene at just 18 years old. Bebe was rumored to have been one of the gunmen in Stello's death, so this could have put a target on his back. No one has been charged with his murder. Following Bebe's death, 
MLB would create another enemy. On May 27, 2016, an 800-member by the name of Pyro, real name Kevin Larry, was in the 5600 block of South Wabish playing dice with members of MLB. During the dice game, an argument would break out and an MLB member named Domo would pull out a gun and shoot Pyro to death. Domo would eventually be arrested and charged with Pyro's death. Pyro was just 22 years old when he passed away. Domo, renamed Dominic Greer, was sentenced to 50 years in prison for the death of Pyro. On September 21st, 2016, E-Boy, renamed Eric Banks, was walking down the street with another person in the 5700 block of South Wabish when a gunman hopped out of a car and chased him down and shot him multiple times. E-Boy was taken to Stroger Hospital in critical condition where he was later pronounced dead at just 25 years old. A THF 46 member named Gucci was sentenced to 55 years in prison for this murder. On May 22nd, 2017, an MLB member named Jamo, renamed Jamie Jones, was driving west in the 200 block of West 59th Street when someone in another vehicle opened fire, striking him in the chest, back, and arm. Jamo was taken to Stroger Hospital, where he was pronounced dead at just 27 years old. Members of 600 were allegedly responsible for his death. On June 30th, 2014, a 14-year-old Lakeside member named Lucci, real name Lucian Page, was walking on a sidewalk in Washington Park near South Wabish in 56 when a dark-colored sedan pulled up and someone inside opened fire. Lucci was shot multiple times and taken to Comer's Children's Hospital where he would be pronounced dead at just 14 years old. According to the official murder report that an Instagram user named Joka Ghost was able to obtain, an MLB member and rapper named Dusky is believed to be the person that killed him. It turns out that Lucci got into an altercation with Dusky's little sister, then Dusky decided to get into a fist fight with Lucci in response. Shortly after the fist fight, Dusky saw Lucci walking and decided to kill him. A woman on the scene identified Dusky as the shooter. According to the murder report, Dusky told someone that he killed Lucci, but that he felt bad about it after he found out how young Lucci was. Dusky would be killed just a little over three months later, so he was never charged for this. On October 9, 2018, Dusky the man, real name Vinitrius Chris, was in the 5600 block of South Michigan Avenue when a brown vehicle pulled up and gunfire erupted from that vehicle. Dusky was shot in the head and a woman near him was struck in her left foot. Both were taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where Dusky was pronounced dead at just 25 years old. The woman survived her injuries. It's rumored that members of O Block and 600 were responsible. Members of MLB would take to social media to mourn Dusky's death and swear payback. Just 24 hours later, MLB would allegedly fulfill their promise. 24 hours after Dusky's death, on October 10, 2018, a 600 member named Waldo, real name Ramon Debine, was standing on a sidewalk at about 4.30 p.m. in the 200 block of East 63rd Street when a vehicle pulled up next to him and someone inside fired shots. Waldo was struck in the head and pronounced dead at the scene about seven minutes later at just 22 years old. Members of MLB were allegedly responsible for this murder. They would take to social media and brag about how quickly they got payback for Dusky. Dusky's funeral would soon take place and chaos would ensue there. On October 22, 2018, Dusky's funeral was being held at Bethlehem Star Missionary Baptist Church when at around 12.10 p.m., four gunmen in hoodies pulled up and opened fire on the crowd outside. The crowd consisted of many STL and MOB members, and they returned fire to the shooters. In total, at least six people were shot, but luckily no one died. A 25-year-old man was shot in the arm, 
A 27-year-old woman was shot in the leg and lower body. A 24-year-old man was shot in the leg. An 18-year-old man was shot, and a 23-year-old man was shot in the leg. A well-known STL member and rapper named Wooski suffered the worst injuries from this situation as he was shot in the head. He has since been able to recover, but from interviews, you can tell that he is still dealing with some of the effects of his injuries. No one knows who is responsible for this shooting. People have alleged that O Block and 600 members were responsible, or even that members of 800 were responsible, as MOB killed the beloved 800 member Pyro. No one has been charged for this shooting. On September 19th, 2019, a known shooter from MOB named Killa KI, real name Keith Lee, was standing on the street at about 11.24 p.m. in the 6,000 block of South LaSalle Street when someone in a silver-colored SUV opened fire. He was shot multiple times in the head and body and was pronounced dead on the scene at just 29 years old. It is rumored that members of 600 and Front Street were responsible, however, this has never been confirmed. Man, Chicago continues to be crazier than anyone can even imagine. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comment section, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.